what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk black men I want to talk about Mike Epps and Mike Epps was married to Michelle Epps that was his first wife and you know, a, a beautiful lady he's from Indianapolis area and according to her when they split up Mike had already moved on uh, so much so that Mike was still screwing his first wife and didn't let her know that he had already left and started a relationship with the future second wife now again you know me I try to take men's side of the thing um, you know, I know that men are not perfect, but I know that women don't tell the whole story either. And I, I kind of can understand, you know, uh, being married for a while. It's hard having relationships, friendships, long-term businesses. It's hard. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of, um, of growing to do people change in relationships. People's needs change. People's attitudes change. People are not the same. Um, but, but what happened is, is that a lot of times when women change in relationships and it's, uh, it's for the worse and a man has the ability to get away from it, he, he will. And sometimes not to say it's bad, but sometimes a guy feels like, I don't really need to, to really deal with this. I can do the younger thing. And sometimes we can do that without really looking at ourselves to see if we have an issue or we have a problem. But maybe the relationship was so bad, Mike started seeing this new lady. She was younger, possibly to him more attractive. The sex is always going to be better with a new girl than the woman you've been with for a long time. So, you know, Mike was like, look, this is, you know, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead on and, you know, I'm tired of your shit. So I'm gonna let you go. And that's what he did. So Mike got with this younger lady. Her name is Kyra. He has two children by her. Uh, beautiful young lady also. Um, but they got married in 2019. And, uh, but, but now it appears that Mike has unfollowed her. And she has unfollowed him. So what, what could this mean? And these are just rumors, but they're not following each other right now. And typically on Instagram, that means there's trouble in paradise. Well, it can mean number one, Mike Epps could be terrible in relationships. I mean, it's very, it could be very possible. Or number two, as men, we are not really qualifying the women uh, for long-term things outside of what they look like. So, you know, I just want to talk about this because, because, you know, you ever have these situations, brothers, where you're dealing with a chick it's going bad. You're dealing with a new chick and everything is good. Like the chick can do no wrong. Yeah. It's because everything is going bad with the old chick. So you never really have an opportunity to really analyze her for her red flags. It's very similar to like, let's say Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian. Pete Davidson probably right now cannot do any wrong because Kanye West is just so bad. But if we would take Kanye West out of the picture and let's just say she could focus on Pete Davidson, a lot of his flaws would come out pretty quick and it would be a little evident to see those, especially uh, with those binocular on, binoculars on. And I think what happened with Mike Epps is that he got away from his first wife, got in this situation too fast with this wife and you know, now you probably don't want to be married anymore. And then probably moved right into another relationship without a break. So you didn't get a chance to do any development. She didn't get a chance to do any development. And you're kind of doing that. Here's what I want to tell guys. Don't be afraid to take your time to yourself. You don't always need to have a woman. And I'll tell you the most dependent, worthless guys are the ones who are always running to a new relationship. You always got to have a woman living with you. 
you always got to have a woman somewhere near you. A guy like that is always going to be miserable. Sometimes it's typically okay to be by yourself, to enjoy your time, walk around with your sandals on, uh, dusty, dirty boxers. Some of y'all do that. And just get to know you, get to heal, get to work on what you need to work on, get to be less stressed out. And that's what I do now, man. I, I used to have a problem with that. You know, uh, many men, we, we used to, couldn't even go in the world without like 35 friends. And then when you get older and you, you, you start to advance, your friends can't afford your lifestyle. You're going to get tired of paying for them and uh, you don't have many friends. And so the plan, the alone game is how many guys are going to have to make it. And that's, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with playing the alone game. It doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make you a piece of shit or anything, you know? And sometimes guys just don't know what they really want because they've been married for too long. You don't understand what your needs really are. What kind of woman fits you the best? Uh, you just kind of know that you don't want the lady you had before. And then once you get there, you start to, you know, m mess things up. And then you get in a bad situation like this. And then once you do that, it's hard to come back from it, guys. It just is. It's really difficult to come back from this. You have a new baby mama, a new ex-wife with two more kids, more child support. Then if I'm not gonna be mistaken, Mike is gonna probably gonna end up, if he doesn't learn his lesson, getting married again. And see guys, guys in their 50s make as many mistakes as a guy in his 20s or 30s can make. It might not be no rough stuff or you know DUIs as much or things like that. But some men never really learn what they need and what women are better suited for their personality. Sometimes the best woman for you might not be the best looking chick. A lot of times guys are looking for a woman that's very beautiful and you're not looking at a woman that's very compatible. I'm gonna say it again. A lot of guys are looking for a woman that's very beautiful and you're not looking for a woman that's very compatible. What about a woman that you can like be around or that you can live with, or a woman that you can spend some time with. That's much better than being a woman who's like just very attractive and then and, and you're, you're exchanging what you have for her attractiveness. A lot of guys try that and then they lose, you know? You need to be able to have a woman that you can effectively communicate with if you're gonna do that. And you know, the, the good looks is great to have, it's a plus. But marriage is marriage, man. You know, you, you get tired of, you know, looks is going to be gone. Sex is going to be gone. When you, when you take that off the table, what else do you have left? And if that's all that you're going to have, you're going to have a problem. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, before it remains an all-time high, I'm out.